I'm Sanjana Shah from Blueprint News Network, and I've been on the chase for some insight on the DGS girls cross country team. Cross country is a sport of races that are typically five kilometers long. At the high school level, it's considered both a team and individual sport. The top seven runner scores are added together to compile the varsity team standings at meets, and individual standings are also scored. The tenth runner on the DGS varsity girls cross country team Junior Megan Albers says it really makes you feel a part of something when your scores are able to receive points for the team as a whole. As Albers is not always a part of the top seven runners, she experiences situations of competing against her teammates. Albers says, I know some girls on the team get competitive and envious of top runners, but I usually don't. I just love to run for the fun of it. Although being supportive of teammates is difficult, when competing against them, the DGS cross-country program really brings out their encouraging attitude. Varsity coach Douglas Plunkett focuses his coaching style to reflect the team aspect of cross-country rather than the individual aspect, which has definitely made an impression on the athletes. Plunkett says, we focus on the team first and then on the individual. The coaches try to model, acknowledge, and reward supportive behavior. This year's team has been very supportive of each other. Coach Kathleen Meeks also believes the team's key to success is their ability to cheer each other on during competition, and she considers it a major component of the team. Meeks says it needs to be a supportive and collaborative effort all the time, especially on competition day. This mentality is what ties the team together, and it is what got the varsity girls cross country team all the way to winning the West Suburban Conference Gold Division on October 17th. This has been Sanj Nasha reporting from the Blueprint News Network, ending my chase on the DGS varsity girls cross country team.